Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to another episode of our Mountain Blade Gekko Kujo Daimyo Edition Let's Play. Now when last we left off, we had completely finished off the uh, Sakura clan. All that's really left are the lords still hiding within Sakai. One of them just came out and is probably about to be destroyed by Hyogonosuke. Uh, by Hyogonosuke, yeah. Let me see if we travel a little bit further away. Let's see if we can bait any others to come out. Apparently not. What is that? Um, Lord Iwaki is attacking an Ito clan caravan. I mean, sure, we can help out both of these guys. Oh, one more came out. No, wait, that's me. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try and see if we could perhaps catch not could perhaps catch but definitely will catch Lord Rokaku. Is either of you capable of catching him? No. All right, in that case I'll do it and you guys can just help me. Uh I say this only once, surrender or die, take the field. Let's go. Um, interesting battlefield, I will say that much. At any rate, where did we leave off last time? I believe we left off with uh, Hideyoshi defeating Nobutaka. Wait, uh, oh, I thought you guys are... Okay, so that battlefield was not as good as I thought. This one's even worse. Hideyoshi's defeat of Nobutaka. Yeah. Uh, what do you have? You do have some spearmen, so let's position our guys like so. Before you get here, it's going to be a little while, so our gunners are going to have plenty of time. Alright, so... Like I said, with one stroke, Hideyoshi had cost Shibata an ally and any element of surprise. However, Shibata, like I said, had not yet lost his will to fight Hideyoshi. So, next thing Hideyoshi did was he turned towards Ise to fight Takigawa. Now, in the game we already defeated him, but hey. Shibata ordered his adopted son, Katsutoyo, who was able to move, due to being on the other side of those frosted flakes, um, to attack Hideyoshi's holdings in northern Omi. But Hideyoshi managed to bribe key officers in that army, which negated the threat, and Hideyoshi moved towards Kameyama in Ise and forced Takigawa to surrender as well. So essentially, Shibata's plan in sending his son Katsutoyo would have been to divert uh, Hideyoshi from attacking Takigawa in Ise for long enough for the snow to thaw, I expect. Uh, I suspect, not expect. Uh, which would have made it possible for the Takigawa forces and Shibata forces to unite. Oh, that was a nice shot! To unite and attack uh, Hideyoshi together. I like how I was able to headshot a cavalryman, but I can't hit... There we go, I actually can, yes! Uh, I think that these guys that are running towards us are pretty much running... I mean, routing, so... Uh, I think it's safe enough to send our cavalry in now. Right, so, by this time, the snow in Echizen had begun to thaw, and Shibata finally managed to field an army. Now, Shibata sent one of his top generals, Sakuma Morimasa, to take care of Hideyoshi's Omi holdings. The holdings that uh, Katsutoyo failed to take. Um, however, the general was very successful in assigned, and you know how it goes, success breeds greed, and despite Shibata's warnings, Sakuma overstayed his welcome in Omi. Now, Hideyoshi managed to perform yet another forced march towards Sakuma's army, and at the Battle of Shizugatake, wait, Battle of, yeah, Shizugatake, utterly destroyed Sakuma's army. Oh, uh, captured enemies, peasant woman, lovely. Another Onaboshi for our lines, I will gladly take that. Alright, leave the items in the item pool. Uh, let me just see, uh, are they gonna try and attack the... 
Caravan again. I would like to... I, I, the only reason I'm looking at this is because I would like to help them in attacking it. So as to gain a little bit bonus relation with them. But it's gonna be night anyway, so... Hmm. What if I scared him from the other side? Just, just scared him. Uh, uh, where are you going? What is this? People are liking us, probably due to one of our edicts. All right, now, now I'm in front of you, so, so you're more afraid. Aha! There we go, and it's dawn. Come on, early morning at least. Early morning. All right. Oh, let, let me. Let, let, yeah. Lord Hyogonosuke. It's good to see your old friend. Aha! Wait. Damn it, they finished them off! <laughs> Alright, fine. Get home, you guys. Get home. We'll be heading home towards Kakegawa as well. Uh, hopefully, to see if any new lords are there willing to join us. I will see you in but a moment. Right, 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 right. One thing I completely forgot was to give Kankeda a thief of his own so that he stops losing relation with us. Good god, I almost completely forgot about that. Uh, too bad it cost me another two relation points with Kakeda in order for me to actually realize that once again. So let's see, where do we want to place him? Do we give him Kanonji Castle in order for him to be very close to the actual... To the action once it starts, or do we perhaps give him Tomato Castle? That's uh, about just as close, but... No, I think we're gonna give him Kanonji Castle. Alright. So, camp, lady, uh, my wife, who is also our Minister of Affairs of State, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, wish to grant one of our vassals a fief. So, we said Kanonji Castle. Ka -ka -ka Kanonji... Kanonji Castle, there we go, to Lord Kakeda. Kakeda likes us, Musashi, eh. Iwaki likes it because they're friends, Shiroishi likes it, apparently. Alright, well, we didn't lose too many points with all, everybody else, so that is good. There, so Lord Kakeda now has a thief of his own, hopefully he can prepare an army strong enough to fight the Ashikaga Shogunate. The very, very weak Ashikaga Shogunate. I'm just curious, what does the map look like right now? Uh, reports world map. Oh, lovely. Lovely. And it'll be even lovelier once this whole part is red as well. Technically speaking, do we control about half of Japan by now? Um, I think we do. Just not sure about the, the towns. One, two. These are castles, I believe. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We control eighteen towns. I think. I might have missed one. Um, But I believe. Wait, what is the maximum? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <gasps> Ooh, we control exactly half, I think. I might have missed one or two, but if we don't uh, control half now, we will control half very, very soon. At any rate, we just gave um, Lord Kakeda Kanonji Castle, and I will see you as soon as we get to Kakegawa. Well, well, well. It would seem that we have a troublemaker near Ena. Uh, Lord Ijuin, the man who we actually let past us o over here, like, if... Uh, I should have known that there were gonna be this much trouble. Also, there are monk rebels attacking our peasants. I don't like that either. He already looted Sekigahara, and I don't know if it was him, but Lord Iwaki got defeated in a battle somewhere, and thus lowered his relation with us. But Lord Iwaki, didn't he have, like, uh, like a larger amount of units. Aid the village farmers, of course. We are going to beat these guys up. Though, you know, in a way, I'm glad that we can help these village farmers, but in another way, I'm kind of thinking I should have just let them, let the village farmers 
get beaten up by the monk rebels in order for the monk rebels to take a few prisoners that we could then recruit because that is essentially the only way you can really get peasant women into your army but that makes me sound like a complete and total ass so we just won't do that and we'll attack them at as is uh, our gunners are already very very busy very very accurate considering it's dusk surprisingly accurate really um, they're still running towards us, though. They are still optimistic about this attack. Let's see if we can... Aha, uh -huh, there they go. There's the running. Got him. Just send in the cavalry. Right, uh, might as well tell you a little bit more history as we go. Uh, so, like I said, um, at the Battle of Shizugatake, uh, the Sakuma army was completely and utterly destroyed by Hideyoshi. Now, when Katsuya heard the news, he closed himself up in Kitanosho in Echizen. As Hideyoshi's troops started pouring into Echizen, Shibata Katsuya committed seppuku. Now, his wife, who was Nobunaga's sister, decided to die with him. However, she released her daughters, which she had with Azai Nagamasa. Keep in mind, this is the same uh, Nobunaga sister who was previously married to Azai Nagamasa. Um, she released them to Hideyoshi. Now, one of those daughters would become one of Hideyoshi's chief consorts and the mother of his eventual heir, Hideyori. Oh, no, 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 where do you think you're going? You're not escaping me. There is no way I'm letting you escape me. No, I will, am forced to kind of just wait around here. Oh, ho, 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 Lord Genshoji. Yes, Genshoji, get him. Get him. You should have gotten him earlier to, if we're already on the topic, but get him. No, wait. Ah. Fine, I'll get him myself. Actually, can I force him towards Genshoji? Yes, yes I can. No, why did you let him go, you idiot? <laughs> and he just retreats back into Inabayama Castle. Alright, fine. I wonder if you had the opportunity to attack him earlier and you just didn't and you just let him burn down Sakigahara. Please don't tell me that's the case. Though I'm thinking that's probably the case. Oh, now you're coming out. Hi. Who the hell are you? Well, they know me as Great Lord Otogawa. Mark it down, you shall be hearing of me a lot, especially on the battlefield as I slice your face open. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Your frame runs before you. Of course it does. Do, have you heard of the Otogawa Shogunate? You know, the, the one that's controlling half of Japan by now? Lord Rokaku may have fallen to you. Well, yeah, he did. But you're about to as well. You have 400 units to contend with here, sir. Pretty sure you have met your match. <laughs> or rather... Oh? Is he actually... He's actually brave enough to come towards us, huh? Let's see if I can headshot him. Yes, I can. Hello! Goodbye. Oh, come on, I had my sword up. Uh, not sword, sorry, my... <laughs> Alright. Uh... Thank you. Just, yeah, finish him off, please. Fine, I'll do it. Like how I say that after missing my first arrow, even. <laughs> Alrighty then. Though Hideyoshi had dealt with one threat, there was still another threat. Namely, Nobunaga's second son, Nobuo, who was right now uh, the official lord of Owari. Nobuo, no, Nobuo has been, had been, sorry, courting with Tokugawa Ieyasu, who finally decided to make a move. He didn't make a move while Hideyoshi was in conflict with Shibata, but for whatever reason, he decided that right now would be a good time to move. Um, here we go. Let's just send in our cavalry. Uh, so Tokugawa marched into Owari and established his headquarters at Komaki. 
while Hideyoshi was mustering his army, he allowed Ikeda Nobuteru to test the Tokugawa defenses. Ikeda sent around 5,000 men towards Komaki, only to be defeated by a Tokugawa army under the command of Sakai Tadatsugu. In May, Hideyoshi marched into Owari, however, the situation reached a stalemate. You see, Tokugawa knew that Hideyoshi had more firearms in his possession and wanted to avoid another Nagashino. However, in the at the same time, while Hideyoshi... Um, Hideyoshi knew that Ieyasu had a lot more to gain from the battle than him, should he actually win. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, and that is Lord Ijoin. Do we catch him? No, he escaped. Alright. Managed to escape. Fine. Uh, Lord Genshoji, how are you doing? You doing good? Good. Alright, so, I'm just thinking, do we go to Kakegawa immediately, or, I mean, right away, or do we just go to Imahama and try and move the court there immediately? Let me just check if we talk with our waifu. Oh, Lord. My wife. Let's see our positions. I sh we still should we still have, yeah, we do have a silk cloth if we want to move, um, <clears throat> if we would like to move our court. I'm just thinking, is one enough or do we require two? I can't remember. Uh, let me actually... Ah. I'll head to... Kiyosu. Is that Kakeda? It is, alright. So, I'll head to Kiyosu, tell them to... Opa! 41,000, there we go, that's what we like to see. I'll head to Kiyoso and tell them to halt the sales of our dye works. They, could, could you re really not have given me a horse for this? <laughs> Master Dyer! Uh, I'd like you to keep all goods in the warehouse until I arrive. There we go. Check the inventories. Yep, nothing in there right now, but... By the time we come back from Kakegawa, there should be one right there. So, first things first, we will be heading to Kakegawa to uh, hopefully, or rather possibly, find some new lords to recruit? We'll see. We'll see. And once we've done that, we will move back to Kyoso, pick up the dye, uh, the silk, and then head to Imahama and move the court to there. After the court has been moved, we will be uh, having a feast in Imahama to try and gather up as many lords as possible, declare war on the Ashikaga Shogunate, possibly against the Amako clan at the same time. Let me just check, are, do they have an alliance or anything like that in between them? Ashikaga Shogunate, who are you allied with, I wonder? Uh, there is a risk of war, aha. Uh -huh. Is it war with the Amako, okay. Ashikaga are at war with the Josokabe as well, and they're at war with the Ryuzoji. Defensive pact with the Eco Clan. Well, that doesn't really make much of a difference. I mean, they're pretty far away. <laughs> and technically speaking, we are already at war with the Ito, so. <laughs> at any rate, guys, I'll see you in just a little. <laughs> well, this just happened. The Asakura Clan offers you a peace agreement. What is your answer? Well, I wish to de dictate the peace terms. I demand money. They don't really have anything else I can demand from them. So, let's just see if we can get 10,000 mon from an already defeated. Have made peace. Alright, well, we gained 10,000 mon, I just... <laughs> from an already completely wiped out clan. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you, game. Alright, let's head to the castle. Let's see if there are any good lords. Or rather, lords in general just waiting around for us. Uh, I mean, we could also just have a feast in Kakegawa right now, and as we move towards the Ashikaga, um, we can move the court to Yamahama then? Perhaps? Lord Shimotsuma, alright, well, that's a lord. Uh, there are Teremoto, Lord Nakahara, Ishikawa, Endo, Chiba, alright, so these are the guys that we, that I will be checking up on right now. 
Alrighty, welcome back everyone. So we got lucky. Ishikawa, okay, uh, there are two Ishikawas. One is quarrelsome, one is calculating. So I already told him goodbye and Shimotsuma was um, pitiless. So I also told him to goodbye, uh, to goodbye, yes, to leave. However, Lord Endo, Lord Chiba and Lord Nakahara, all three of these are martial. We just received three new lords. Lord Endo, greetings, my lord. Great Lord Date. Oh, you're the ah, you're the previous uh, strategist. Hey, welcome, <laughs> welcome to my court. A long time no see, my friend. I would be honored to accept your pledge. Lord Chiba, greetings. You may have heard from Great Lord Satomi. Aha, uh -huh, so you and I actually fought, but you seem to have liked me enough. Alrighty then, I would be honored to accept your pledge as well. Lord Nakahara, you were you're you were under Great Lord Otomo. Why did you leave him? Wait, are the Otomo No, the Otomo still exist, I think. Don't they? I mean I would be honored to accept your pledge. I'm just slightly confused right now. Um are the Otomo Oh the Otomo are gone. Funai got taken by the Ito. And I believe that was their last holding. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that explains ma why a martial man was looking to join a different clan. Now then, let's check what is available for them. <laughs> Kanonji Castle has just been given to Lord Kakita. So, wh what, do we give one Obama Castle? I say we give one Ichijodani Castle. We give one um, Tamaru Castle. Do we give Nagashima Fortress to one of them? Uh, just thinking, do we give Obama Castle to someone? That's that's what I'm thinking. The reason I'm not saying yes immediately is because, well, if we go to war with the Amako clan, which we will, that's going to be the first thing to go. Though I guess having a defender up there would help, but... Uh. You know what, sure, Obama Castle... Tamaru Castle, Ichijodani Castle. Those are the three castles that we'll be giving to them right now. So, uh, Minister, aka Wife, Vassal. Alright, so, I wish to give, where is it, Obama Castle to Lord Endo. Masashi doesn't like it, Kakeda likes it. Aha, uh -huh. so the previously Data Lords actually like it. Nice. Alrighty, Nakahara, I saw that you're in negative two already, but here, you can have Ichijodani Castle. There you go. The rest don't really like it. Ah, uh, Maeda, god damn it. You're so low. Chiba, you're on four right now. Well, yeah, but you're getting a castle of your own. Don't worry about it. Wait, what was the last castle? I kind of forgot. So we gave Ichijodani, we gave Obama, Tamaru. Tamaru, that's the last one. Tamaru Castle. All right. Minister. Affairs of State, Fief, Tamaru. Tamaru Castle. There we go. All righty. Now, where is he? Where are you? Lord Chiba. Boom, bada, boom. Uh, Maida doesn't like it any every time we give somebody Kodera doesn't like it either, but hey we have additional lords now, which is very very nice Um, Alrighty with that done. I believe that um hey wife we should probably plan a feast Or mm, I'm torn do we plan a feast in Kakegawa move the uh, move the, what's the word, court to Imahama afterwards, as we gather up the lords and leave for Imahama, or do we first go to Imahama, move everything there, and then have a feast in Imahama? I mean, technically speaking, the three lords are going to be relatively near. So they won't really have much of a reason not to come to Imahama. Gen Shoji is in Inabayama, so he also has every reason to come. And honestly, not that many of them really have to come. But... Though, damn it, it takes like a week or two or something like that, I believe, for the court to move. 
So, you know what, let's just have a feast right now and move the court as we move it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, go to castle. Let's talk with our wife. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, uh, for whatever reason, I'm, I think I'm getting copyright strikes for this song right now. Oh, good God. All right, so, um, yeah, I think we could hold a feast, or should. A food which must before, uh, come before everything. Magnificent and a variety bountiful of drink, which the guests will... Re uh, magnificent and a variety magnificent of spice, which is essential to demonstrate that we spare. The amount is scant. I still don't know what's wrong here. A fish sauce, which we shall require. The amount is magnificent. Overall, the cons will be considered sufficient. You know what? Yes, dispatch the invitations. New quest taken. Organize a feast. Well, I'm already organizing it. The three lords have already disappeared back to their uh, respective armies. So now all that's left is just to wait for everybody to arrive here. Join the feast. Pretty sure nobody's in it yet. Um, so yeah, let's just wait for the first guests to arrive, shall we? Let's actually just enter. Um, wait here for some time. Perhaps, you never know, we might get lucky and we might uh, get a, a few of our points back. <laughs> uh, points, aka our uh, skills, our stats. You never know. We might. The building a prisoner tower in Kakagawa is, has been completed. Lovely! Lovely! Alrighty, so, um, where is everybody? He's coming yet. Ah, there we go. I forgot who I gave Sumpu Castle to, but welcome. Welcome, welcome. All oh, right, we also have the ability to go on tournaments during this whole thing. Oh, I think that is it. Everything else is at max level already. Um, do we go for a tournament? Sure, why not? Um, yeah, let's do it. And in the meantime, I can tell you a little bit more about the history. So, like I was saying, uh, the two were experiencing a stalemate. Neither of them wanted to be the one to make the first move. Now, Ikina Nobuteru came up with a plan. The plan was to take part of uh, the army and attack the defenseless Mikawa. Since, remember, the Tokugawa moved their army and uh, established their headquarters in Komaki. So yeah, Mikawa was relatively undefended. There we go. Um, however, villagers had told Ieyasu about the Hideyoshi movements and prepared a not-so-very-warm welcome for Ikeda. Now Ikeda was defeated and even killed uh, near Nagakute. The situation once again afterwards um, devolved into a stalemate. You're aiming at me, I can see that you're aiming at me, so you're go Okay, there we go. Um, but instead of focusing on the powerful Tokugawa, Hideyoshi decided that he's gonna start focusing and undermining Nobuo, the weaker one of the two. Um, many of Nobuo's holdings had been taken in the first days of the campaign, so he was eager now to find a diplomatic uh, solution while he still had some lands of his own left. He and Hideyoshi signed peace, which left Tokugawa now on his own. Now, this was, honestly, a pretty dicky move on the side of Nobuo. He got Tokugawa into this war and then just signed peace, leaving Tokugawa on his own against the forces of Hideyoshi. Yeah, There we go. Is that the last one? Nope. Um, I was honestly not paying attention to which round these are. Uh, this is. Yeah, there we go. So... This left Ieyasu little choice, but to follow suit and sign peace as well. Now, with the hostilities finished, Hideyoshi returned to Kyoto and began receiving titles that solidified his control. 
he got the Mori and the Uesugi to, to become, quote-unquote, compliant vassals. Though they were treated as allies, really, more than just vassals. Keep in mind that the Uesugi at this time were under the command of... Uh, Damn it, I forgot the name again. Uesugi Kagekatsu, that's the name. There we go, Lord Akahoshi. Let's drink to my health indeed, and drink to the successes of our future campaigns. Well, to the ending of the Asakura campaign, really, and to the success of the future campaigns. There we go. So, um, you know what, I think I'm actually going to be leaving off this episode with that. I'm very sorry for a somewhat shorter episode. Um, those of you that don't know, I will be going on a vacation on the 17th, and I would love to actually have a few videos ready for you, so they might be a little bit shorter, but slightly more bountiful, hopefully. Um... Uh, uh, I am, of course, still trying to find a place to move into, uh, but I managed, I don't know if I ma mentioned this in one of the previous videos, but I did manage to have my landowner um, prolong my contract with him at least until the end of August, so I come back at the end of July from my vacation, after which I still have a whole month to hopefully find a good place, which is why I found a little bit of time to finally record a little bit, uh, record a little bit of a um, backlog in order to be able to keep giving you guys videos even while I am away. Hopefully you guys appreciate that. <laughs> At any rate, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. We'll see you guys next time. And until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.